What's up, YouTube Loop Troop and fellow Pokemon Pocketeers? Uh, like I said before, I think that I'm just gonna have to start saying Loop Troop because I think a lot of people are just joining in from the Pokemon Pocket scene. Um, I'm continuing beating all of the solo expert missions with their um, weaknesses or the ones they're strong against, basically. And today we're gonna be tackling the Charizard EX, trying to beat it with a grass type deck. And I'm just gonna be honest, because this keeps happening. I always test out my decks before I go into like showing them on you. I'm like, I think this deck will work nicely and I go into it. And then sometimes I just, I just get decimated by the computer. I think that a lot of these do result in a lot of luck, but this is the deck that I decided to go into. Um, and that is gonna be the Venus Lizard Trap. Before I go into what um, I'm gonna be using, I wanna show off the deck that Charizard X has. It's just gonna be two Moltres's. It does have Arcanine X in here, but you rarely see it. Uh, I think it's because it only has the one Arcanine X and it does have one Growlithe. So you're not gonna see it a whole lot, but it can happen. Um, but you have two Charizard X lines and you have two Moltres EXs as well. Um, you have one potion, two X speeds, and you have two Giovannis, one Sabrina, two Professor Researchers, two Pokeballs, the standard stuff when it comes to pulling cards. Now, the thing about this deck you need to watch out for is these X speeds because you'll be thinking, oh, they're not gonna be able to leave right now and pull in that Charizard, and they just pop two X speeds, and then you got a big giant flaming hot lizard in your face. That sounds terrible, but you know what I'm talking about. So, the deck that I have is it's one that I kind of played before, but I had to take some things out because you have to only use grass mons in this. And that's my wizard, my, my, my wizard, my Venus lizard trap. So I don't know if you've used victory bell before, but you know, it's one of my favorite cards in the game. Victory, victory bell, basically, I don't know why I'm having such trouble saying victory bell today, but victory bell basically lets you pull in basic Pokemon to kill them. Um, if they have less than 60 HP, you will kill them just because this attack does 60 damage. Of course, we do have Giovanni to do a little bit of damn, a little bit more extra energy. I don't think there's any other basic Pokemon that <clears throat> have less than, uh, have more than 70 HP. I could be wrong though, but I think they all have 70 or less, right? So this can be really effective if they start throwing stuff in later. Um, just depends on when they get it. So if they don't get good pulls and you get your victory bell out, you can just pull things in and not have to worry about stuff. Now, I do understand that they're gonna have Moltres and Moltres dealing 70, which is gonna be 90 to this is still gonna be kind of detrimental. That's why we do have the Erica's in here so they can heal us if need be. Now, sometimes you're not gonna be getting your bell sprout, your weeping bell and your victory bell. We do have Venonat and Venomoth. They are there because Venomoth only needs one grass energy and it can start applying poison. And you really wanna start applying poison to the Moltres so you can start killing it as fast as you possibly can because it's still gonna be dealing tons of damage. So let's see if we can knock this thing out fairly easily. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. Also make use of your Sabrinas and we're gonna see how this goes. I, like I said before, I've had some decent luck with it, but who knows, maybe it's gonna take take my lunch money today like a lot of the other solo missions do when I make these videos. All right, let's get into it. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Like I said, I beat it recently, but sometimes when you um, do things off off uh, screen, when you're not recording, that's when the game wants to you know show, show its ass. So let's see, so we're going second, which is good. We don't want them getting any extra energy. We got Venonat going up here first. We do have a Pokeball, so that is good. Let's see what they got up here. Moltres EX, obviously. Why wouldn't they? We'll go ahead and start dealing some damage to this thing. Let's see. So they already got their setup kind of already started. Next turn, they're going to start pumping. Not what we want, but it's what we got. Let's go ahead and use Pokeball. Thin our deck. We got a Bell Sprout. That's good. We can go into a Weeping Bell next. All right, let's go ahead and attack deal some damage we got to apply some pressure to this thing i also i almost have a you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do a sabrina believe it or not just so that they have to use an x speed or they have to use extra energy later um this just seems kind of smart to me because i'm i'm kind of not looking forward to them doing any of that kind of stuff you know so so he does use an x speed now and that's that's one less x speed we have to deal with later you know this is uh, something that you want to do just to apply some pressure to the computer. 
especially when you know that what they're gonna have to do if they want us to be effective okay so two energy is not good <laughs> but i guess it is what it is if we get okay we got we got victory bell now so that's good i can start putting points onto this hopefully they don't get a charmander i'm i'm assuming that they probably already do but if they don't then next turn i can kill this charmander right here unfortunately they had it they have an x speed are they gonna kill my venonat interesting that they would do that so next turn i can actually kill this charmeleon because i'm gonna have a victory bell coming in i was not expecting them to do that they've used both their x speeds now and i can kill the charmeleon with a giovanni they have no energy on that moltres because they use it so that's pretty good for us sometimes the computer is pretty stupid so we'll just take that to our advantage now their charmeleon is gone um we're gonna go ahead and use giovanni first i almost forgot i almost forgot to use giovanni can you can you go come on geo all right so now we're dealing 70 damage let's go ahead and take it out don't hit fragrance trap by accident that would be really bad really sad all right so now all i gotta do is take out this moltres and that's actually not super hard to do when you're dealing with a uh, victory bell because victory bell can keep pulling in this moltres and i should be able to win he's not going to be able to get up to three energy to attack me and i can just keep pulling him back in and back in and back in so this game should be kind of over and done with we might have had a pretty easy little session here um but sometimes it can go really easy like this sometimes it can't really just depends on what you got now if they have some potions then maybe this can last a little bit longer but like i said i'm not really worried about any of that and also he puts Char Char charmander out all i see is another thing to kill so <laughs> um i'm not gonna let charmander go like he's gonna put these points on charmander and i'm just gonna pull him back in with victory bell i don't i don't even care about this moltres right now i just care about killing this charmander so i'm gonna fragrance trap it because last thing i want is for him to to be able to get into charizard so i'm just gonna take this out quick fast in a hurry don't forget my energy a lot of people ask me why do i have this little this little notification that pops up on whenever i have stuff left over it's because i forget stuff all the time i have adhd so I have all 80 of the HDs, so I have to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes. So now Moltres comes back out here. I still have Kill Shot on it. If it doesn't have a potion, it's going to die. Um, so it has a potion. Good. I could have also killed it last turn too, but I'm just showing you guys that you can just bring in any new thing it comes in. Like it's not super scary. Uh, it can't even kill us in, in one hit so it's it's kind of like whatever i'm just showing you the kind of the basics of how to play victory bell when new stuff does pop in you just want to kill it don't let them get started and moltres can attack us next turn but who cares it's only going to be able to do 90 damage it only has 20 hp it, there is no erica for moltres sure go ahead and attack us buddy we don't care we're a tank we got 140 hp you have made terrible mistakes with your life I'm gonna go ahead and whip him again. I don't even care about the, the notification. It's all over. Well, now we get four points. There we go. And as simple as that. So this is why I love playing Victory Bell. And this is gonna show up as my first time beating this because I didn't beat it prior to this because I wanted to show you guys. I beat it, but I didn't I didn't do the, the final blow to show you guys that it can be done with only grass type mons and not even that hard. No EX Pokemon, just a really nice uh, Venus Flytrap boy. And there you go. If you can control the field, you can win and it's as simple as that. So hopefully you guys that are having a little trouble beating this, can you know learn from this it's it's really really simple and easy when you have a good strategy just don't let them get started and there you go and that's actually two times in a row if you guys need any help got any more questions about anything else drop them in the comments you know i'm i'm your guy for help i have no problems come check us out over on twitch.tv slash loopy fist as well we uh we have a really good time playing the game um if you got some decks you want me to try be my guest also this deck will be in the description along with the other decks it's on a little link that says pokemon pocket deck list down there something like that you should not be able to miss it unless you don't look at all um 
like a guy looking in a fridge for something and doesn't look behind anything. So I'm, I'm uh, definitely uh, a culprit of that. Well, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.